Italians. Clever little lot, aren't they? Fantastic fashion designers, great food, and on my head, son, pretty amazing football team. And you know what I've heard? They make great lovers. Did I ever tell you my middle name's Luigi? Stilo, the Italian word for style. Now that's the name that they've given to their latest creation, the all new Fiat Stilo. Now I'm always a little bit sceptical when it comes to the marketing for this class of car. The small family hatchback, the way they talk about stirring passions and a sharp exciting drive. You can just see it. Darling, get your coat, we're off to the bowling green for a sharp and exciting drive. Now the press bump for this car suggests that name, Stilo, is going to create images of style and passion and really fire the emotions. Oh! So, like the Lamborghini, yes? Well, not really, lads, because at the end of the day, it's still a 12 grand Fiat, isn't it? Back to that name, Stilo. Well, quoting the press pack again, they say it's instantly recognisable as Italian in any language. Get out, you like me, Stilo? Yeah, I have the Stilo. I like, I like it, really. It's a bit of a Stilo. Sounds Italian to me. But I guess as a name, it's not that bad. They could have called it the new Fiat Badger. Now when the Stilo goes on sale next February, you'll get a choice of six engines. There's two diesels and four petrol engines. Now the petrol will range from a little bitty 1.2 right up to the 2.4. Now the one I'm test driving today is the 1.8 petrol. And I've got to be honest, it's a little bit on the flat side. It's one of those that you've really got to rev before it'll do anything. But as we said before, performance isn't such an issue in this type of car. I mean, it's not as if you want to leave your tyres stuck to the tarmac at the supermarket when you pull away with your shopping. Now, the ride and the handling on the Stilo is everything I expected it to be, because I can't remember the last time I got in this type of car and thought, oh, it handles abysmally. It doesn't. But then, none of them do these days. There's not really any such thing as a bad car. It's quite firm, the steering's fine, and it's very comfortable, and I think on a motorway, it's gonna be a great cruiser. But again, if you want the sporty option, it's gonna be that 2.4. I think that's gonna be a real stormer. So back to that big question of style, which after all, is what the Stilo is all about. But from the outside, I think they've got it absolutely spot on. It's gorgeous. From the front, it mimics quite a few cars. You've got like a baby Passat there, even a bit of the Skoda, which isn't a bad thing anymore and the back is superb, very much like the Alpha 147, it's very broad, very purposeful, very angular, but above all, I think the whole car from the outside is unmistakable. And then we come to the interior. Now I think this was a bit of a four o'clock special. Hey Luigi, are you finished the design for the interior? No, not yet, ah, it'll be okay, let's go to the pub. Just do the same as everybody else, it'll be fine. Why have they done it? The outside shows so much flair. They've been exciting with it. They've been different with it. And it comes to the interior and it's like every other bland interior that is on the market. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad quality. It all feels well put together. It's very stable. Switch gear's good. It's just dull to look at. The only bit I do like is the gear knob and the speedo dials. reckon that this new Stilo is going to stick him in the Premier League and I've got to agree with him. It looks fantastic and the handling and build quality are certainly as good as most in that class. But it's that interior that lets it down and sticks it in a midfield position when it could have so easily been a striker. <laughs> 